Pair, one of the coolest new features added in Unreal Engine 4.26. I'm gonna show you how to make it in Blender, import it, and make it actually look good. Make a new Unreal Engine 4.26 project. Go with a third person template so we can run around and actually see the hair on our character. Go straight for the plugins, search Groom, enable both of these things and restart the editor. When it restarts, you'll have to compile shaders. Uh, not to worry though, because we'll just do stuff in Blender while that happens. Navigate to the mannequin, right click Asset Actions Export. Choose somewhere you'll remember. I just made an external content folder in my project directory. Uncheck all these things because we don't need them. Export. Open Blender, delete everything in the scene, go to File, Import, FBX, grab the mannequin, leave everything at default, and hit Import. Go ahead and hide the skeleton, we'll need it later, but right now it's just in the way. Select the mannequin, go into Edit Mode, and select the part of the model you want to have hair. When you're finished, go to this tab on the right-hand panel, click the plus button to add a new vertex group. Name it Hair! Assign it! Now go to Particle Properties and add a new emitter, switch the type to Hair. Hey look, it's me on a bad hair day! <laughs> um, this happened because we didn't tell the hair where it can hang out. Scroll down to the vertex groups and set the density to hair. This will make the hair only emit from the surfaces you selected before. If this didn't work, you probably forgot to click assign. Decrease the hair length to something more reasonable. Now go into particle edit mode. You can just brush the hair. It's amazing. The comb tool is for shaping. The smooth tool removes kinks from the hair. The add tool lets you manually place hair. The length tool lets you increase the length of the hair. And if you hold down shift while using it, it'll make the hair shorter. The puff tool makes the strands move away from each other. And the cut tool removes hair entirely. When you've got something you're happy with, go back into object mode. Under particle settings, children, select interpolated. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. You see these two values, display and render? The display amount is how much extra hair Blender will show you, but the render amount is how much Blender will export. You do not want to export 100 interpolated children. That is a lot of hair, because 100 interpolated children means that Blender is adding 100 hairs for every single hair you already see there. I would recommend setting both of these to around 10 to 20. As a side note, you may not want to use children at all and instead just increase the hair count here. You'll have to delete your hair edit and start again though. You may have to do this because sometimes children give weird results on specific hairdos. Beautiful! Now go to export. I got these export settings from Marvel Master. A link to his video on hair is in the description. Under particle settings, render, deselect show emitter. On Hydra Mannequin Skeleton, select your mesh, then skeleton, then go to file, export, alembic. Here are the settings you should use. Scale 100 and frame 1, otherwise it'll take forever to export. Selected objects on, renderable objects off, visible objects on. Export. Back in Unreal, click import. Select your hair, hit open, and you should get this import options dialog. If you don't get this particular dialog, something happened wrong during your export. Double check specifically that you deselected show emitter. Hit import. Open it up. It's sideways. That's because Blender and Unreal sometimes disagree on which way is up. Not to worry though, go back to your groom, right click, choose re-import from new file, select your hair again, and use these import settings. Rotate 90 degrees on X and negative one scale on Y. Import, perfect. Now let's add it to the mannequin. Open up your third person character, select the skeletal mesh and add a new groom component. Choose your hair, it's floating. See that slot below for a binding asset? We need one of those. Thankfully, they're like stupid easy to make. Just go back to your groom, right click, create binding asset and choose the character that you made the hair for. Create, you're done. Back in the third person character, add your new binding asset. Perfect. It's kind of thin though. Open up your groom. Under strands, we've got all sorts of settings. Play around with them for a while. I recommend increasing the hair width and decreasing the hair tip scale. That'll make it thicker at the base and thinner at the ends. Do you like your hair floppy? Go to the physics tab, solver settings, and enable simulation. Unreal will compile shaders. Mine got stuck at one for a, an unreasonably amount of time, honestly. Just wait it through. When it finishes, hit play. It's kind of floppy, but cool and thicker. Back in the physics tab, play around with the settings. Here's what I ended up with after, <laughs> after some <laughs> trial and error. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is cool and all, but it's not punk. Why is it not punk? Go back to Blender, make it punk. It's a mohawk now, but it's a crappy mohawk because it's not pink. Make a new material, hair, open it up. Here's what I made. Make sure to select the material attributes mode and scroll down in the details and check used with hair strands, otherwise it just won't work. Make a material instance, mohawk, make it pink, apply it to your groom, enable physics, make him do meme dances from two years ago. I'm not gonna stop you, I'm not your mom.